The views and opinions expressed on Coach Chappie's Corner are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of Woosa Studios, its management, or other hosts or advertisers. The shows produced by Woosa Studios can promote any lifestyle, belief, religion, political affiliation, or other personal practice. These shows are for entertainment purposes only and might include strong themes, images, sex, or language that may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. In the interest of your safety, it is important to check with your physician before beginning any exercise program and to exercise according to your fitness level and capabilities. If you have any questions, please seek the guidance of a wellness, fitness, or health professional. My name is Coach Chappie Calianta. I'm a strength and conditioning specialist and the head coach and program director of the 360 Fitness Clubs. I've been in the industry for 12 years working as a speaker, trainer, and coach. My mission? Make the world a fitter place one person at a time. I do that through my gyms, my blog, and now through this show. This is Coach Chappie's Corner. All right, guys, it's time for another workout of the moment. And the workout for today is a workout finisher involving one of my favorite core exercises, which is which was invented by uh, Ido Porta. Ido is one of the masters when it comes to stability training and handstand training. Uh, you're going to crawl across the room twice. So you're going to go forward and then backward. And then when you get back, you're going to do some farmer's walks using heavy kettlebells. Right? You can choose your own weight. Like I use 28 in the video and then walk forward and then backward again with the kettlebells. Uh, with the crawl, the rule is your knees should only be one inch from the floor. So nothing higher than one inch. That keeps the core engaged and also works in your hip flexors and your quads. With the farmer's walk, keep it as stable as possible. Make sure that you're walking in a straight line until you reach the corners and then walk sideways in a straight line, backwards in a straight line, and then do it all over again. You can do this as a finisher, and you can do it after your strength, your power lifts, or even after your circuit to get that metabolic conditioning that's good for you. Alright guys, let's go! Alright, so we start with the crawl. Again, try to notice my knees, they're not going up high as I do this exercise. You want to keep your knees one inch away from the ground. Even at the turn, which is coming up now, you want to keep your knees still one inch from the floor while you're turning. This gives you an added challenge. This exercise is good if you want to work on core stability while moving. And you'll be surprised because you'll feel it also in the legs. It looks easy but it's quite challenging. Now as soon as you're done with the crawl, stand up and pick up the kettlebells. I'm using 228 kilograms here, you can use whatever you want and walk on a straight line going forward and then laterally going to the side and then backwards. Just make sure there's nothing behind you that might cause you to trip. Again, do the same thing, going all the way back towards the starting position. Hope you're all enjoying the show so far. 
Uh, we're gonna get right back into the conclusion of the Chappie Challenge, but first, it's time for Ask Chappie, where I answer all of your fitness, diet, and health-related concerns right here on the show. Let's get right to it. So the first question comes from a user in, over at Ask FM, and he asks, or she asks, I don't even know, it's an anonymous question, um, how do you improve in push-ups, right? So what are the exercises that you can do to improve in push-ups? All right, so oddly enough, if you want to improve on push-ups, the way to do it is to actually do more push-ups. But of course, not everyone can do the full push-up, which is from the knees, from the feet and the, and the hands. Some people can't do that yet. They might not have the core stability or the core strength. So what we need to do is to get the, to get the core stronger. Let's do some planks for about 30 seconds. Or if you can't do 30, you can do 20 or even lower 15. But the point is to try to get that core stability firing. Now, after that, you want to do some push-ups as well. You can do first modified push-ups with your hands on top of a bench, a high bench or a high chair. Make sure it's stable. And then if you, if that, if you get better there, then you can go lower with every set or with every day that you do this until you reach the floor and you'll be, you'll be able to do full push-ups from the floor. But again, progression is key. Make sure that you can do, you can, you can stabilize your core properly throughout all of the throughout the entire movement and then progress your push-ups gradually. All right, so the next question also comes from Ask FM and this person asks, Coach, uh, what are the carbs that I should minimize or avoid? Is rice better than pasta? How about bread? All right, so in the question of carbs, you wanna look at the structure of the carbohydrates. Are they simple carbs or are they complex carbs? Simple carbs are made up of one or two sugars and complex carbs are made up of more. So uh, in this scenario, you, you want to avoid or lessen the consumption of simple carbs, which you'll find in table sugar, um, candies, molasses, and everything with white flour. And you want to increase the consumption of complex carbs, which have more than two sugars and are harder to digest. Uh, they're also high in fiber. These are usually found in vegetables and you know, multigrain or, or uh, high grain stuff, right? So you want to increase the consumption of uh, complex carbohydrates and these can be actually found in vegetables. So in terms of your question, rice, pasta or bread, I tend to uh, side towards rice because there's less uh, processing involved in making rice, especially if you, take, if you eat red or brown rice. Now if you go towards bread and pasta, uh, they have more uh, processing involved and you don't want that because the body doesn't like processed food if you're trying to lose weight. So try to avoid bread and pasta and go for rice, brown or red. All right, this last question also comes from Ask FM. Uh, Coach, I work the graveyard shift. Is it better to go to the gym before or after my shift? All right, I know it's a tough world and we all gotta work and some people really have to go through the graveyard shift. I would prefer that you work out when you're fresh, so that's before your shift because uh, sometimes after your shift, there's a lot of factors involved. You might be tamad, you might not want, to, not want to work out anymore. You might be too tired from the job that you just did. So I suggest that you work out before going to work, preferably when you're fresh, after a good day's sleep. And just make sure that you get enough uh, nutrients in you, eat well, and try to sleep well, and of course train hard as well. It, you know, it doesn't really matter as long as you can do it. So if you want to work out before, if you want to work out after, the important thing here is that you actually do work out. But I suggest that you do it before when you're fresh and when you just woke up. All right, so that's all of the time we have today for Ask Chappie. If you want to participate, again, you can hit us up through Twitter. Just use the hashtag Ask Chappie. Hit me up at Chappie Calianta. You can also call our hotlines over here in the studio, 631-2264 or through Skype at Rusa Studios. Just log in and give us a call. All right, hope you guys all enjoyed the questions. We're gonna go straight into the conclusion of a Chappie Challenge and see who among the Slam Boys can win this challenge. All right, are you ready? Ready. Are you ready? Good. All right, Chappie Challenge starts in three, two, one, go! Okay, up, up. Let's go, let's go. Get on the 
Go, go, go. Pwede ka umapon mo lang ulit. So, yun lang ang one minute. What was the hardest part? Ah, the push-ups. The push-ups should get me. Uh, it's underrated. Everyone thinks it's a basic thing. Yeah. But it's tough if you have to do it all in a row. What? What's your message for Aaron? Um, stop the steroids. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Bro. All right. What was the hardest part? Uh, nothing. Probably the the box jumps. Uh, I ever since before I've always had problems with that. 
Uh, I don't like that. Push ups are fine with me, box jumps not so fine. Yeah, who do you want to go up against? <laughs> not, not that you're the winner. Susie! Susie! I want to go up against Susie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it happen. Alright, yeah. uh, guys, hope you all enjoyed this episode of Coach Chappie's Corner. Remember to hit me up through Twitter at Chappie Galenet. If you have any questions, use the hashtag AskChappie. If you have any suggestions or if you want to participate in the next Chappie Challenge, use the hashtag Chubby challenge. See you guys next time and remember fitness is not a chore, it's a choice.